this is my match versus Division II national champ and Division I All-American from Nebraska, Isaiah White. And if you stay till the end, you're going to see me hit this sweet foot sweep to win the match. Now, if you're interested in getting your match reviewed and posted on Iron Faith Wrestling YouTube channel, just join my free Iron Faith Academy. Link is in the description. Now, let's get right to it. So the match starts off with him hitting a blast double. I get my underhook up to my feet. Heavy hand fighting. One thing that he was very good at was his snap downs were heavy. And partially it's me leaning forward too much and not having my lead leg forward, but he had some heavy hands and could snap me down to my face a lot. I need to make sure my legs are underneath me more. I can't be pushing in and leaning into him as much as I was. Let's look at that, that snap down again. You'll see it multiple times in the match as well. Look at that square stance, boom. If you notice my feet right together right there. He's grabbing the hamstring, good, good, good job of that. When you do go behind, you must be grabbing the hamstring. All right. Now watch the way I resist there. That's I'm one of my best positions is bottom. And a lot of times I, I wear people out by getting out pretty quickly. So once I get taken down, he's on the right side. I need to, I shifted my weight, similar to like defending a gut wrench, to the opposite side, shifting my weight, shifting my weight, sealing off, working my hips underneath me. Close to the out of bounds now, so it's tough, it's tough to get your escape when you're close to the out of bounds because they can always walk you right out. But I'm I'm resisting the pressure. He's he's driving me right, I'm resisting it by moving my body to that opposite side. Again, close to the out of bounds, and he's able to just walk me right out and get a fresh start. But most people get very tired trying to ride me out, and, and my gas tank is ultimately what, what allowed me to win this match. Um, but yeah, get my knees wide, working back to tripod. Tripod's the best way to get out. You gotta be good with a tripod stand up. And when you get to your feet, stay on your feet, stay on your feet. And look at how I'm just touching the mat. I'm not allowing myself to hit my knee, if possible. I did hit my knee there, but I'm trying my best to not hit my knee. Again, resisting. The goal on bottom is do not let them get anything. It's not necessarily get out right away. It's do not let them get your wrist. Don't let them get a leg in. Don't let them get anything. Because if you don't get out, it's not the end of the world. If you get turned, it's very tough to win if you get turned. But you'll see I'm just continuing to be relentless at doing the exact same thing again and again. My hand's going across, I'm sealing off, and then getting my escape there. Then I go right after him. Good stance, I start crowding him. Come out of the camera real quick, but good stance. My legs felt like jello a little bit this match, like kind of slow, but he's just heavy hand fighting. Um, I got good head position there. And I slipped out of a lot of, a lot of takedowns like this. You know, the match went my way for sure. You know, right, right towards the out of bounds line, Toe hit the, hit the uh, edge of the wood, so they stopped the match. But I'm just doing a, I'm just reaching too much. He's getting to his underhooks. Again, we both go out of bounds before, before he's able to get the takedown. But he's, he's dominating me in the beginning with this hand fighting. Um, I should have had some fakes on him. I should have, uh, you know, just kept a better, kept my, a better, uh, stronger stance. You know, kept that right leg forward a little bit stronger. Get into my collar tie. Yeah, that wasn't a bad fake. Again, just heavy hand fighting here. Poked him in the eye. Uh, I'll skip past this part. If it, if it, yeah, let me skip past this part. Little eye poke, you know. Not intentional, promise. All right, let me go. Let me see where we're at. All right. All right, I'm down. He cuts me. Back of my feet, just because I'm too good at bottom. He doesn't want to ride. He doesn't want to get tired riding me out. He's got a he's got a minute twenty seven riding time though. It's kind of a lot. But heavy hand fight in here. Nice fakes. He's controlling the inside. Get into the legs. Get into the legs. And you'll see, I got lucky a couple times, but I did a great job of wrestling all the way through positions, right? Not just stopping and giving up the two. 
you know, popping my knee back up just enough time before the ref not to give two points. Um, you know, I wish I wasn't in this situation as often, but, you know, I won a close match in this, in this match, so any point mattered a lot. Now, this is where I do good. I love getting the, the head pinch position. I get a deep underhook, get my foot sweep. Now, that's the exact position you're going to see at the end. That's the exact position, and I score a lot from here. I get an underhook with my left hand. They put their head on my shoulder to um, defend the underhook, and then I lock my hands together in a head pinch. I try to throw them with the hip toss, and then I go to a foot sweep when they lean to resist the hip toss, which you're going to see right there. Try to go to go behind after, walk them out of bounds, just action call. That was good wrestling there. I think the clock's messed up with, uh, the clock's definitely messed up, so I don't know. Don't follow the, the, the clock on the bottom. All right, their choice goes down. Tripod, you're gonna see the best wrestlers, they're going tripod stand up. You gotta go tripod stand up. I do a good job of, I wanna I want to ride this guy out as long as I can because I felt him getting tired and I know like if I can break him, the takedowns will be easy. So if I can get him tired, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to win this match. So I tried to ride out the best I could. Um, he does get out, I think pretty quickly, but I'm here on this single leg, holding it. Again, I want to I want to walk him out. I want to finish this takedown. I do not want him getting the escape if possible. I want yes. See that that was huge. Doing that right there, where he tried, he tried to flip me over and I finish on top near the out of bounds. I'm near the out of bounds now, so if he ever stands up to his feet, we can get just get a fresh start. So if you're just trying to ride the person out and I have his, I'm trying to get his riding time down so I don't he doesn't get a point for riding time. Um, but yeah. And when they're flat, you automatically get 30 seconds of riding time. So he did a poor job of trying to do some roll thing to flip me over when he should have just sprawled or tried to kick away. Just collecting wrist, keeping that pressure. That's my best ride. I go one-on-one, -on -one and I really pinch the side I'm on. So I pinch his uh, left leg with my knees to make sure he can't build his base up. Get him a stall call for not trying hard enough. Yeah, I'm just riding on top. Wish it was more exciting than this for the t for the, for top, but you know some matches aren't aren't as much action. This one was just a lot of some strategy, some some wrestling. I think the, again, the biggest thing, like you'll see, he almost had three takedowns on me where I was out of bounds in the beginning. That was huge. Wrestling through the whistle, wrestling even here, just staying toes in bound for as long as possible and walking him right out when I need to, and. Now I do make, he does get the escape, I'm pretty sure though. So this is a big mistake I made, 23 seconds. I just rode this guy out for over a minute and a half and I can't ride him out for 23 more seconds and I don't, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying my best though. Reducing, look at this. How does he get out with this little time left? So like that was a huge mistake by me. I can't, I couldn't ride him out, I couldn't find a way, what, when does he get it? He got one escape at the whistle, at the whistle. That was a big factor on who, on who, well, I won the match, so I ended up making it happen, but like, man, getting that escape there, no good. All right, so I'm on bottom, third period. Again, I think the clock's a little messed up on the bottom left. I work to my feet, he wants to cut me, he doesn't wanna get tired. Doesn't want to get tired. All right, I'm just stalking him, hand fighting, looking for the opportunity. I know he's getting tired. Hand fighting, elbow passing off. Looking crazy with my mullet. My hair got wicked long, but I used to have a really long mullet when I wrestled. Just peeling that hand up. I should have shot off of those. I like nowadays I peel and I hit a, a sweep single. I really like that attack. I wish I did that more. But um, look at that. You, this is what I mean. Like his, his snap downs, two things. 
his snap downs were so good and I did a great job of wrestling through the whistle. And this is actually the third period. That's why I'm like all confused. I mean, this is the overtime. It's literally overtime. I didn't even know it was overtime because of the way the bottom left is working. But if let's rewind that real quick, just watch that, where he snaps me to my face, okay? So he snapped me down to my face because I'm all pushing in too hard, walking into him. Look at how bad that is. When you drive into somebody, you want to push off your back leg and, and scooch forward or shuffle forwards. I'm literally walking into my opponent and then getting snapped on my face. Um, like stepping, like stepping into my opponent. So watch that one more, one more time quick. I do do a great job of recovering and not giving up the, uh, the takedown. But look at him walking into him. You'll see. I start walking, look. My left leg, right leg, boom, snap. I get my head up to not get cradled. Get out of that position. Continue to hand fight, clear the ties. But you see, we're both tired. You see a lot of mistakes here with our with our hand fighting and just kind of look at my look at that. Look at that. he would snap me again. Look at my feet squaring up. You can see my left leg coming forward again. All right, shooting, working out. He's probably looking for a go behind. I'm looking for a, you know an attack. Single leg to underhook. I did that a lot. I hit a lot of single legs and then come up to my underhook. And then here's where I finish it. Boom. And it's not. Okay, now I'm messing up again. This is not sudden victory. <laughs> it says sudden victory, but it's third period. Sorry for all the confusion with the, the clock on the bottom. But I just had to ride him out. 15 seconds, 14 seconds left to ride him out here. Let's go back to that, that takedown because I almost got that in the beginning again. Um... We'll go back, all right, a little bit more. And then I just ride him out the end, so it's not that big of a deal. But let's look at this last, last situation. I shoot my single, come to underhook, got my head pinch position, try to throw him with the head pinch, foot sweep, collect the double, get the two-point takedown. And I just ride him out for the last few seconds, just like that. Get the hand raised. So... Again, if you want your match reviewed, join my free wrestling community below and you'll get the chance to get your match reviewed and post it on Iron Faith Wrestling YouTube. See you guys in the next video.